Good afternoon and welcome back to my channel everybody. Today is going to be another what to eat on um, Weight Watchers, just a full day of eating. Um, this morning I woke up and did a few errands. I had to go fill up a vending machine for our business. Um, unfortunately with everything going on, our business is like kind of at a standstill except for our um, vending machines. So we've been still attending to those because it still helps us a bit. And um, they're still technically deemed as essential because they're providing food and apparently here um, there's no really there's no rules for us not to even operate so like technically we're still out to operate our business but most of the places that we have are vending machines and kitty rides and just like arcade games they're all closed so anyways that's what I did I grabbed a few groceries for my grandparents and dropped those off um, I grabbed a few things which I'll show you later um, Right now I'm sitting down for lunch, so I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you what I'm having. So here is lunch. I have some snap peas, cucumbers, and cauliflower for zero points. I have the Greek olive, I think it's called, hummus. I have two tablespoons for two points. I couldn't find my favorite, which is caramelized onion, so I got my second favorite, which is this one. I have four nan dippers for four points. They're a point each, and then I have one point's worth of tzatziki. And then over here I have the Mediterranean chickpea burger by Morningstar. So lunch is only 10 points. I did not have breakfast this morning. I was just um, busy when I got up to go do my thing. So I'm sitting down right now to eat. Um, guys, like this is like basically all green, um, but it looks so good. I wanted to kind of do like a Mediterranean slash like Greek dish snack plate today. So that's what I'm doing. I'm also gonna try the Morningstar Farms um, burger on camera because I haven't tried this one yet. Hmm. That one's good. So I will definitely be buying those um, Mediterranean ones again. So the spicy black bean one is really good and this one's really good. So I'm really impressed with them. Um, I like meat, but it's something different and I like to switch it up a bit, so. Anyways, um, it's day 12 today of my Chloe Ting um, two week workout shred challenge. I can't believe like I literally lasted 12 days. I only have two more days left. I'm actually really excited to see what Wayne brings this week. Um, I feel like it's gonna be good. So anyways, that's delicious. I dipped the nan in the tzatziki. This is like turning into a mukbang. I'm sorry. Anyways, um, there was something else I wanted to talk to you guys about. I'm gonna adjust this just a tad. Um, oh, so just a little update on like my whole situation of like being home alone because a lot of people have asked me. I've gotten a lot better with it. This is the second set that my husband's away for um, and he comes home next week so I might still be off. Um, so that would be nice to have like another two weeks with him. Um, honestly, like the best thing that's happened out of this whole thing, which this whole situation is really unfortunate, but like I try to look at the positives. Me and my husband, like I work full time. So when he's home, I'm still working. Yes, I get to see him at night, but when he's on his normal shift a week on and a week off, I'm working. So with him being home for two weeks and me being off, we got to spend a lot of time together so far. So I'm very grateful for that. It's been nice. Yes, it's been hard when he's been gone, but I've learned to like cope with it and I don't know, I'm doing okay. Um, there are two cases up where he's working. So it's a little bit scary, but um, I'm hoping for the best. I don't know like when I'm going back to work, but we'll see. But anyways, I'm gonna eat my lunch. I am going to get ready to work out and then um, we'll see you guys back for snack time maybe, I'm not too sure. Um, I just kinda wanted to sit down with you guys and just quickly touch base and let you guys know like where I'm at and how I'm doing because a lot of you have asked and I really appreciate like all the support, it's awesome and it really helps me through these hard times. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then we'll see you guys when you All eat right guys, it is time to work out. Um, I had my built boost about two to two and a half hours ago. I probably should have worked out right away after that but I had a few things I had to go back downtown for. Um, so anyways, after I work out, I'm gonna come back on and show you guys a new cereal I found and I'm gonna do a taste test. So I'm gonna have cereal for a snack after. I should probably close like my, what is that? 
cupboard, not cupboard, oh my gosh, close my closet doors. Anyways, um, I'm gonna work out and we'll see you guys when I'm all done. All right guys, so I'm done my workout. Um, I had a pretty good workout session today, um, but for me, sometimes when I get closer to like the end of a program, it's almost harder, I don't know why. But anyways, I'm here to show you guys um, what I picked up at the grocery store and do a taste test on a new cereal I found. But before I show you that cereal, um, I'll just let you know that I picked up some Smart Sweets from Superstore. These were on sale for $3.98, and then if you bought $10 or more worth of the Smart Sweets products, you got 30% off. So I think I paid like, I literally paid like $17 for seven of them, I think. So that's not bad at all. These are three points. I like these um, at the end of the night with my popcorn. And then I was so excited guys when I saw this because I love Cheerios and I love like banana nut bread. So, oh my gosh, I had to try it. So this one here, you can have up to 30 grams or three quarters of a cup for four points. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now for like an after workout snack. Um, I just have some unsweetened cashew milk in here. So let's give her a try. Mm. These are dangerous, guys. Wow. They taste cinnamony, banana-y, nutty. They're really, really good. They taste like a banana loaf. I highly recommend um, these Cheerios. If you can find them, buy them. If you like banana nut bread, you'll love this. Mm. If you guys watched my previous videos, I also like the blueberry flavor. But this flavor is like number one. I still have the coconut ones in my pantry that I still need to try. But anyways, I'm going to finish my cereal. Um, I'll be sitting at 14 points before dinner and then we'll see you guys for dinner. All right guys, it is dinner time. Um, unfortunately, the original dinner I was gonna have didn't turn out. Um, I had some like coleslaw and like some shredded cauliflower to make like a stir fry with my stir fry seasoning and um, an egg in there, but the vegetables, like they went bad. They weren't expired or they didn't look bad, but they smelt weird. So what I ended up doing was just adding some broccoli and cauliflower um, with my rice. I used the G Hughes, I think it's called, sugar-free teriyaki marinade in there. Um, and that's zero points. The cup of rice is six points. And then obviously the broccoli and cauliflower is zero. I put a little bit of sriracha in there. And then when I cooked my rice, I cooked it in um, chicken broth, low sodium chicken broth. So it gives it a little bit more flavor. And I just put a little bit of spray butter on my vegetables. So this is a six point dinner. I wanted to film as well, but unfortunately, like my kitchen has really bad lighting as it is. And the lighting that I usually use when I cook is like from like the steam hood vent and one of the light bulbs is out. So I couldn't film, but anyways, that's my dinner story. I'm still gonna enjoy this. I'll be sitting at 20 out of 30 points. I'm sure this video was pretty boring for you guys today because I didn't really do anything. And I know a lot of my what to eat in a day is like, they're basically the same, um, but I try to like, put in like clippets of me cooking or whatever, but unfortunately today I couldn't. So I hope you guys are still enjoying my videos. Um, I'm just trying to show you guys how I am, you know, working the program through everything and um, hopefully you guys can get ideas. I'm trying to, you know, upload cook with me's and stuff as well. So I don't know, it's, it's hard like, it's hard knowing what like everybody wants and what everybody wants to watch. So anyways, I'm gonna start blabbing. I'm gonna eat this dinner and we'll see you guys back for snack time. Guys, I am sitting down for snack time. As you probably guessed, I am having popcorn. This is the Smart Pop popcorn. The whole bag is seven points. Um, I ran out of my all dress seasoning, which I was literally downtown today. I was down at Walmart and I totally forgot. Um, so that's been my favorite. Um, but this uh, combination of dill pickle and white cheddar was like my favorite before um, the all dress. So that's what I have on here. So that's seven points. And then I'm having the Smart Sweets in the Sour Blast Buddies. I've been having these every night. I've been obsessed with them. I like the peach rings as well, um, but I couldn't find them today. So anyways, three points for that. 
seven points for this, so I'm sitting at 30 out of 30 points. So I'm probably gonna come back on here um, after my snack and let you guys know if I had anything else, but I'm just going to enjoy my snack, drink my water. Let me know down below if any of you guys watch the show Superstore. Um, I just think it's so funny, and right now that's what I need, so I'm literally on season three, I think, and I just started four days ago. It's seriously funny, like sometimes it's stupid funny, but I like it. But anyways, I'm going to eat my snack and we'll see you guys back later. Back to show you what I'm having for the rest of the night. I have two of my fruit cups. I have one in fruit salad and one in peach. Um, I probably should only have one, but I'm having two. Um, these are the no sugar added, so literally it's just like Splenda or I don't really know what's used to sweeten it, but it's just water and that. Um, so I count zero points for these. Um, I've mentioned them in my videos before, but like these are so great to have on hand right now. Um, if I'm snacky, I'll just grab one of these um, or two. So I'm gonna eat those, zero points. Um, so I'm ending the evening at 30 out of 30 points, which is great. I'm finishing up my water. Well, this is my second one right now, so. That's good. Um, I'm glad about the day. I'm really glad about how my week has gone and I'm really hoping for a great weigh-in on Thursday. Last video that I uploaded was my weigh-in and as you all know, um, I'm really slow about getting those up so you're probably gonna see another weigh-in because my weigh-in this week, which is Thursday, is coming up shortly. So before I let you guys go, I would love to know down below your non-skill victories for this week. Um, a couple of mine are, of course, finishing or close to finishing the Chloe Ting two-week shred um, workout program. I honestly didn't think I could do it, so that's awesome. And then another thing with that, um, I started off like not, like I couldn't do some of the um, exercises and now I can almost do all of them or just like um, a modified version, but I can tell that like I'm more... Like I can do them better. Um, I feel like non-skill victories outweigh the scale sometimes and you need to focus on those victories rather than the scale or the number on the scale because the number on the scale doesn't define you. I've realized that throughout my whole journey. Like that number doesn't define who I am or doesn't it doesn't show like how much work or effort I've put into my journey. Yes, I mean, I've lost 70 pounds, so obviously the scale does show that, but there's other things that show your weight loss journey, not just the scale. So I'd love to know those non-scale victories. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.